Welcome to the video. Today we have a really, really exciting announcement. One of the most exciting announcements we've made in a while, if not one of the most exciting ever. And that is that there is going to be a book written about Newberry Park and Sean and the entire journey. So you might have already seen it online. It's Sean's book. It's called Redefining Fast. It's the story about Newberry Park, you know, the rise and what kind of, you know, what had to happen in order for the just absolutely incredible experience that that happened over there you know like how that happened and this announcement particularly is about the opening of the pre-sale for the book so as of now you can go ahead with our link down in the description and order yourself a copy of the book now it's not finished yet it's great we've sp spoken to the authors and i'm extremely extremely excited for it but they are still writing it. So what that means is you can't buy it right now and probably not tomorrow or next week, but in a couple of months, it's gonna be finished and available. And if you bought it now on pre-sale, that means that you are gonna get it shipped to you when it's done. So that's really awesome. You can get it in now. It helps to support, you know, it helps fund the actual process of making the book and it helps support everyone else around it. So I'm really excited. I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled with this. I think it's something that, you know, is uh, just, you, you never expect it. Like, uh, I don't know, I never thought that would be like announcing that there's a book being written about our high school career, you know, and our journey. But um, it's really, really incredible. Um, I know that Sean has been pouring a lot of his heart and soul and passion into this for the past year. You know, both the authors are incredible. We spoke to Chris Lear. If you guys don't know him, he's a great author. He's, you know, very celebrated with his book, Running with the Buffaloes. Um, and then Andrew Grief is also amazing as well. He's a former LA Clippers writer. So the entire team, you know, behind this is really working incredibly hard and is very, you know, thoughtful with it and uh, passion driven. So. I hope that you guys can share some of our enthusiasm and really, really build some excitement for this book because, oh man, I, I can't wait to read it and I can't wait to see um, how all of you like it. And I'm really just excited for you know, the journey to be shared at a much deeper level because we can only share so, so much through the videos. You, know, you can only see so much of the races, but like, this is gonna really give that like, a really personal kind of uh, like, detailed perspective into how the program can, came to be, you know, Sean's own backstory, which is really unknown to most of you. It's really, really fascinating. So, um, man, I'm just so excited for this thing. So I guess we'll see if Leo has uh, any particular words that he'd like to say, but oh man, are we excited. All right, well, as Lex mentioned, we have some hugely exciting news. There is going to be a book written about the Newberry Park success, talking about the whole story, um, I believe the kind of timeline of it starts at the very, very beginning, back when Nico was a freshman in high school, and it goes all the way through, I think, about our junior year, basically Sean's entire career there. Um, and it's going to be hugely exciting. It's going to give really cool inside looks into, you know, how can you make a team that is so good? How can you create a culture that everyone buys into that allows a team to be so good? And it's just going it's, to, it's really going to be fascinating. I'm hugely excited for, I mean, you know, obviously we already know everything about it because we were part of it and it was like our life for four years. But I'm sure you guys are seeing a lot of things online about this book. A lot of people are marketing it. But if you guys want to support our channel, make sure to pre-sale it through our link, through our YouTube channel, because it basically just ties our name to the sale and it basically will empower more videos. Not necessarily like this because not all our videos are promoting a book, but more videos like the ones you like, making cooler projects for races, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, make sure to go through there and have fun. I cannot wait to read this book myself. I cannot wait for the story to be out there and for hopefully for it to inspire so many people to, you know, really go for it, go for it in high school running. I think that there's so much that you can do as a team and I think that we were so fortunate in high school to have such an amazing team experience, and it is gonna be so exciting for people to get to share that with us. I first got there and I, I was telling the team how we could win a state championship in three years, and then if they just did everything I said, and I knew there was gonna be a lot of culture change that would have to happen. So 
when everything came to, and we won a state championship, we won a national championship in 2019, and then I think we were ranked number one in the country for close to four years in a row, you know, when I left Newberry Park and I thought about everything that happened, running through COVID, all these different scenarios, I thought that I needed to write a book, I wanted the story to be told, I want people to know that it's not just about training hard, having talented people, but it's more about creating a culture, believing and setting the bar super high. And that's probably the main reason for the book is to put it out there that people can kind of see the inside story of everybody on Newberry Park's team, what we went through, what they sacrificed and how they became the best team ever. In 2021, we were definitely um, given the title the best high school team in sports history because we went one, two, three, six at the national championship. Three guys broke the national record. Um, our team averaged close to the, the individual national record, averaging 14-14 for a 5K. And I just wanted the story to be told and, and the story to be out there that, you know, it's not just talent and it's not just hard work, but it's culture, it's like team unity, and I wanted people to get an inside you know, view of what it was like to be at Newberry Park. So picking a co-writer, shadow writer, was, um, it was important because I wanted to make sure that I told the story, but I knew of somebody who was really successful at writing a book, and his name was Chris Lear. He was the first guy that came to mind when we thought about picking someone to help. Now, we went through a lot of different people, talking to different um, authors, writers, and, and interviewing them to see if they'd be right. And then we finally got a hold of Chris Lear. He was really hesitant at first. And then when we actually flew back east to meet with him, he told us beforehand that he was really hesitant. He didn't think he wanted to do it because he's been looking for a project for about 10 years or so. And then when we met with him, he heard the story, he met me and he realized and did some research about Newberry Park, he knew right away that this was something he wanted to be a part of. And that was important to me because I feel like he was passionate about it and it, like he hasn't written a book in a while. And having his guidance and his influence on you know, my stories as a writer, I think was really important. And then on top of that, Chris was back east. I was out west in California. We went with um, you know, Andrew Greif from the LA Times, well, former writer from the LA Times, you know, he writes for Men's Health, GQ, all these different things. Um, he's really involved with track and field. He competed for University of Oregon as, a, as an athlete back in the day. And he knows track and he knows running. And he wrote articles about uh, our team when, when we were in high school. So he decided to come along as another writer. Um, him and Chris work closely with me and we just kind of collaborate. And I think it's getting the best of all the different worlds to create the story that we want out there for everybody to, to understand. Redefining Fast is available now for pre-orders, so click the link and get it now. Let's go.